Weather Authority local forecast. Hopefully you and yours are having a wonderful Tuesday evening. We've had warmer weather today, but certainly translating to a very nice night in the desert southwest if you've been out and about this evening. Let's take a look at your RV World Yuma Sky Cam as we take a look at the bright lights of the city of Yuma amongst the other bright lights across our viewing area. And of course, here is what we're looking at with the satellite radar perspective. Not a lot to tell you there. We do have that strip of cloud coverage, so potentially we'll have a mostly clear night instead of a clear night through and through and as things stand right now in Yuma low in 60s and very minimal wind speeds at least right now we're expected to pick that up within a couple days though just to take note of that we're in the 50s in the Imperial Valley at this time so the overall spectrum of things well we certainly have uh, that high pressure certainly affecting the southwest and really the southern part of the country let's get real this is a, a pretty significant ridge but nonetheless it's going to start to get flattened a little bit as we get on into Wednesday evening and then as we get into Thursday we're going to start to see a reemergence but we're not going to actually feel that we're going to feel pretty good Thursday before we start to feel a little warmer at the end of the week now your Wednesday forecast for the Intermountain West we have this system that's beelining its way over toward the Four Corners area it's going to deliver some snow in some higher elevated areas and of course it's going to bring us a little uh, temperature reprieve as you will all right the future of the winds you're like, that's not looking promising. We'll just wait. Here we go. We're talking about overnight into Thursday. We're going to crank up those wind speeds. And yes, we could have gusts up to 35 miles an hour. So just saying before we get on to Thursday night and into Friday. Your Metrocast, 58 degrees by 8 a.m. We'll check in around the low end 80s by the mid-afternoon before we dial the temperatures down a little bit as we get on into your evening time. Now, for your Yuma International Airport extended forecast, the warming will be limited because again Thursday that next event comes in. We bring in the wind, we bring in lower temperatures, then we start to rise them again. So it's like a game of shoots and ladders if you're familiar with that. Yeah, you're thinking shoots and what? Okay, anyway, nonetheless, we're looking at the Imperial Valley's forecast and you can say that, yeah, we'll keep the 70s going to, for the most part. We'll even have, we'll, we'll sprinkle in a little 60s as well. But believe it or not, that's going to be few and far between from here on out. And yes, we'll be nice as we get on into the month of March.